Godzilla x Kong The New Empire hasn't been released yet, but there are already many people complaining about its screen time. It's going to be approximately 2 hours long, and there's a lot, I mean, a lot to explain in this movie. However in this video, I'll explain how Legendary's move was a masterstroke, based on the official information from the studio itself, and how this running time will be more than enough to satisfy us with the film. Welcome back to Nerds Insights, where each channel is leaking different information. Some say it will be a 2 hour film, others claim it will be 2 hours and 10 minutes, while some suggest it will only be 1 hour and 30 minutes. Let's take 2 hours as our base duration. Now, considering any of these leaked times, will it be enough to explain so much in this movie? For instance, we need to know what happened in the Hollow Earth, the events of the Titan War, the backstory of Scar King, the history of Titanus Shermu, and how Godzilla and Kong can gain new powers. There's a lot to explain, and two hours don't seem sufficient, especially considering the need for fights and the characteristic moments of the film. But this is where Legendary's masterstroke comes into play, and I'll show you with official information straight from Legendary. So stick with me in this video, where you'll find official information along with my theories. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because videos like this, theories, news, rumors, and leaks, are only available to those who are subscribed with notifications enabled. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss out. And don't forget to hit the like button as it greatly helps promote the video. There are many people who'd love to watch this video, but it doesn't reach them, and you can help by liking and giving this video a chance to reach more people. First of all, don't pay too much attention to the images in the background. I'm using clips from other videos I've made to expedite the process, as I don't have images to illustrate what I'm talking about. So don't mind those background images. To understand why this two-hour runtime is enough, we need to grasp how the MonsterVerse films from Legendary work. They follow a pattern of calm start, setting the stage for chaos the introduction of the villain the first battle the midsection leading to the film's climax a peak of drama followed by the final battle. All legendary MonsterVerse films follow this structure. However the battles are relatively short, around 20 minutes at most, with the majority of the film dedicated to storytelling. They don't explain everything explicitly for instance, they barely explained King Ghidorah's or Mechagodzilla's origins. Yet, everyone understood what was happening. If we wanted more details, we could seek them out. But this film will be entirely different. Scar is a completely new kaiju. He's not like Mothra, whose backstory is well established. Titana Shermu is entirely new as well, and the Titan War is a completely new concept. They have to explain these in the movie. The only thing we know is that there was a war between the Gajira race and the Kong race, with the Gajiras emerging victorious. But what led to that war? What happened? We need answers to understand this film fully. We need to understand Scar King's history and Titana Shermu's backstory. It's not like the Mudos, Ghidorah, where we already had some knowledge. That's the strategy Legendary will use. Let me clarify further. We didn't need the origin stories of the Mudos or Ghidorah because we already knew them. It's like not needing to explain Spider-Man's origin again with Tom Holland, as we've seen it with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. That's the same strategy Legendary is using. They announced a comic series called Godzilla x Kong the Hunter, which will explore the Hollow Earth. The first images released already showed Chikais. There are even leaked images of these Chikais. This comic series is official and will delve into the Hollow Earth and Scar King's story and possibly Titana Shermu's story, although I find it unlikely for them to cover Shermu in this series. Let me make it clearer, before the movie's release, they'll publish a comic series that will explain the necessary backstory, so they won't have to do it in the film. Does this make sense to you? It's like reading the Dragon Ball manga and seeing Goku transforming into Super Saiyan. When you later watch the anime and see Goku fighting Frieza, the anime doesn't need to explain Goku's backstory and the Saiyans because you already know from the manga. This way, they'll have more time in the movie for the fights and visual spectacle. That's Legendary's strategy. They will release works before Godzilla x Kong the New Empire to explain these things, like the Monarch Legacy of Monster series and the Godzilla x Kong the Hunter comic series. This way, they won't need to spend time explaining in the film. So the two-hour runtime is great for us. We won't need much of an origin explanation. Most of it will be in the comic series and the series. Any remaining gaps can be filled through leaks or additional information from Legendary. It also leaves room for fan theories. That's why I believe the two-hour runtime makes perfect sense for Godzilla x Kong the New Empire and Legendary has made a brilliant move by releasing these comics and series beforehand. However it's a risky strategy. The number of people watching the movie will be much larger than the number of people reading the comics or watching the series. Some people might not even know these supplementary materials exist. Marvel does something similar, telling stories and series, 
but the number of people who watch the movies greatly surpasses those who watch the series. So those who miss the series won't understand the movie fully. It's a very, very risky strategy for Legendary. But, as I mentioned, what's official is the Godzilla x Kong the Hunter comic series and the Monarch Legacy of Monsters series on Apple+. Plus. Whether they will cover the movie's origins in these comics and series is my own theory. What's confirmed is that the Monarch series and the comic series will provide opportunities to explain the backstory before the film Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. What do you think about this strategy by Legendary? Would you prefer everything to be explained in the movie, or do you like the idea of focusing more on the monsterverse, with battles and visual spectacle, while the explanations are given in the comics and series? Let me know your opinion in the comments, and please hit the like button. It's crucial in helping this video reach more people here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because news reaches only those who are subscribed. There are many people watching right now who haven't subscribed yet and the videos won't reach them if they're not subscribed. So it's essential to turn on the notification bell and stay tuned for updates on your phone. Until next time, 